Through These Doors is presented by Gate City Bank. This is Jack. Jack has a debit card from Gate City Bank. However, it looks like a little night ninja took off with his card, as they sometimes do. <laughs> but lucky for Jack, he can freeze his missing debit card with a tap of his mobile app. And even if his card is stolen or lost for good, he can go to any Gate City Bank location to get a new card issued instantly. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. After a week away from game action, North Dakota was ready to hit the road once again. This time, the Mile High City and bitter rival Denver awaited a UND club eager to make up ground in the standings. Pioneers took all six points in their November visit to Grand Forks. North Dakota looked to repay the favor in Magnus. Yeah, it's good to get on the road and play away. You know, obviously it's it doesn't get better than playing at the Ralph, but sometimes it's good, you know, to go play away games and, you know, bond together, go on those playing rides and stuff like that. On the road's always a good time too, you know, it's kind of just the team at the hotel, a lot of time together, like you got your roommates and stuff there too, so, you know, the guys are all stick together, a lot of team time together, so it's always fun. It's fun, uh, we always build that chemistry with the guys. You gotta sit around on the plane and uh, enjoy yourself, play some cards and uh, have some fun. from the Mile High City of Denver, Colorado and University of North Dakota Hockey. North Dakota in desperate needs of some points still have their eyes on at least the fourth place finish for home ice in the opening round, but that's a distant ways away right now. Set along the boards, Farmer outlet pass, hook out, that's picked off, they shoot and score! Now the Pioneers, four checked by Albrecht, who broke it loose to Blake to Albrecht, oh, I score! Jandra kicked it in, went and got it, centers it out for Frazier, shoots and scores! Barons brings it back across the North Dakota line, center to shot, they score! Rizzo! Moore with it to Clevin on the right side, Clevin put in a Friday deflection and a goal! Skating it across is Mazer. Mazer right out in front, shoots and scores! And it's five to three. Crowd on their feet, and that's going to do it tonight in game number one. The Pioneers victorious this evening, five to three. Sent out to the left side for King. Now to Barron's a shot, save, rebound, they score. Came to Farmer. Farmer back out to the point, sent it, shoots and scores. Blake gets a pass. 
cuts into the Denver goal, pulls up, turns around, shoots and scores! Oh my goodness! There's one you gotta see. Back in the zone, but Chanderson's going to the bench. Rizzo up with it for Denver, shoots and scores! And that's gonna about do it in Denver. I don't know when the last time they've swept a season series from North Dakota, but they just have. Final score tonight from Denver, Pioneers five, North Dakota two. It was a disappointing weekend in the Rockies, however, one UND freshman continues to shine. With three points against Denver, Jackson Blake now sits fifth amongst NCHC point getters. It's quietly stated his claim for conference rookie of the year. Jackson Blake, is uh, he's a great teammate. You can tell uh, he has a passion for the game. He loves the game. He's a rink rad, and uh, he's having an outstanding freshman year. And, and at the end of the day, I think it's all because of you know who he is and you know how he approaches his day coming to the rink. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, playing on the ice with him, you know, you're always gonna be ready for a pass because he'll find you. Um, you know, he's just fun to be around. Brings new energy every day, and uh, yeah, he's just awesome kid to be around. Yeah, honestly, I think it's pretty weird. I think you know, I was playing video games like NHL and stuff like that, just watching moves and doing moves and those, and uh, translating them into the the games. And I would always go out on the sport court and practice those moves and try all different types of stuff. So just doing stuff like that, I think, really uh, got me to where I am today. Well, I think, you know, I think everybody has their own levels of, of getting acclimated to college hockey. And for him, you know, he got out of the gates pretty quick here. And, uh, you know, obviously there's some things to work on, like with any player, as far as to get, keep getting better every day. And, you know, his development for his first year has been uh, outstanding. And, and we look for even bigger and better things for him over the next few years here. Honestly, didn't really know what to expect, but I think it's been pretty smooth. Obviously, you know, the coaching staff has trusted me, which I'm super grateful for that. You know, they've given me a little leeway here and there, but hockey in college is super tough. You're playing against some older guys on like juniors. You're playing against guys who are similar to your age. So I think that was the biggest difference, just, you know, the older guys and how the physical play comes into play. To be a Hobie watch list player, you have to be consistent in your play. Like you, you can't take a game off, you can't take a shift off, and you gotta be present at all times. And you know, I, I think he's got even better days ahead of him. A lot of guys who win that award, you know, get an opportunity to go play pro and stuff like that. So to be alongside these players in college who are, you know, having such great seasons and especially Reese, I mean, that guy, I love playing with that guy. You know, he scores from anywhere. He has one of the best shots I've ever seen, not only just in college. I mean it's super cool and I'm, I'm super grateful. Well, his future is bright, but he came here as a freshman and uh, had a lot of success. Now the challenge becomes keeping your foot on the gas. And I know he has that in, in his system as far as wanting to keep going and even getting better each and every day. And I just see a young man here that's hungry to play, that, that, that loves the game, that loves his teammates, that loves coming to the rink every day and, and adding to the tradition here. Obviously, you know, every kid dreams of playing in the NHL and, you know, Obviously that's my dream, I've had that dream as long as I can remember, but after coming here, I never really want to leave this place. Like, I watched Sendo and Hayner growing up and they really inspired me and now I, to get to play with those guys, it's super special, so I can't imagine not playing a home game in the row. Jackson Blake and company welcome sixth ranked St. Cloud State to town on Friday. Even after being swept out west, North Dakota still has everything to play for heading into the weekend. Friday against Denver. I didn't think we were that bad, honestly. Even I don't think the score really showed how well we actually played. Um, but in Saturday, you know, it just wasn't there. I don't know what it was, but I think we're just going to use it as feel and motivation to focus on this weekend, but then go into the last three weekends like we're not out. We know we still have an opportunity to go all the way. We really like our group here, and we're just trying to figure out how to win these games. And Denver would have been great, but we got to move on and, and find a way to win two games against St. Cloud. We're still kind of up and down, but we know how good we can be. And I think that's the biggest thing is getting that consistency these last three weeks. If we can find that and play confident and play the way that we know we can play, we absolutely have the most confidence in each other and our team to make a run 